Cruiser riders are a breed all of their own, and while we tend to focus a lot on sport bike bros in these videos on this channel, I would be remiss to not include our wonderful low and slow cruiser boys here. For the uninitiated, cruisers are a style of motorcycle that typically come with low seat heights, an exaggerated rake, and a big torquey but low revving engine. In short, whatever you imagine in your mind's eye for a Harley Davidson, that's kind of what a cruiser is. Although the definition has been warped a bit with offerings like the Street 750, a cruiser is typically to be understood as this. And again, even though cruisers are not the forte of this channel, I have met plenty of cruiser bros and feel confident in providing you with the content you're looking for when it comes to dudes who own these bikes. So hello, it is I, the Sham Wow Dude, back once again delivering you the top tier motorcycle content you've come to know and love. Speaking of tiers, we gotta do some more of those videos. Let me know if you wanna see more of those videos. Today's video is supported by the good folks over at Manscaped. You already know about them, but I'm gonna tell you more about them later in this video because I guarantee you some cruiser dudes are needing some trimming in some critical areas. Before we begin though, do me a favor, subscribe to the channel. We're working super hard to provide you content on a near daily basis and rumor has it in July there will be an upload every single day so let's get it. Now let's jump into the 7 cruiser bros you will meet. Our first suspect is the guy who could only afford an 80s cruiser. To the uninitiated, a cruiser seems like a pretty simple machine. Some of them are even air-cooled, they've been changed for decades, and yet Harley is charging upwards of $18,000 for their mid-tier models. What the hell gives? No one told me being a cruiser bro is going to cost me an arm and a leg. Aren't these bikes supposed to be for outlaws? Well, if they're meant for outlaws, then you better hope you're a well-to-do drug dealer with loads of cash because otherwise Harley Davidson deals explicitly in the doctors and dentists category. So you started scouring the internet's finest listing service, Craigslist.com, and you find yourself a 1986 Harley Sportster. Or hell, maybe you go full banana and get yourself a shovel head because you really want to stretch those mechanics muscles. Thankfully, and perhaps mercifully, these older Harleys and older cruisers in general are dead simple to work on. There's nothing too special going on with these bikes. The 80s cruiser bro will join up at every bike night and with that new patina paint job, no one is the wiser that he picked up that bike for $1,300. Cruiser status achieved. Our next fella is well known to fellow cruiser vlogger Shade Tree Surgeon, and that's none other than the Muscle Cruiser Bro. Ah, the Muscle Cruiser. A niche subgenre of cruiser bros themselves, they pride themselves on a bit of performance. But that performance comes in one flavor, and it's the forward direction at stonkingly quick speeds. Muscle Cruiser Bros will favor bikes such as the V Rod, the V Max, and the Rocket 3 in order to get their rocks off of street like drag racing matches against anything and anyone. One. Muscle Cruiser Bros will quickly pull up a YouTube video titled VMAX Against the World, where their pride and joy is out there destroying anything on the streets. Don't be fooled, although Cruiser Bros appear to ride nice and smooth, some of them are even bigger hooligans than your average GSXR flip flop bro. Muscle Cruisers deserve the utmost respect, mostly because they're actually pretty rare. I've never seen one in the wild and would love to take a ride on something that has enough torque to be classified as a car engine. If you've got a muscle cruiser you're willing for me to ride, hit me up in the comments below. Now, our next rider is a classic, and we've got to get this one out of the way, and that is the $40,000 Harley bro. Screaming Eagle shirt, bright orange Harley hat everywhere he goes, hell he even has the limited edition Harley Wrangler jeans and the Harley Davidson F-150 they made. Don't believe me, HD has thrown their logo onto anything that could be sold. I'm surprised they haven't made Harley Davidson diapers yet, although maybe they'll make HD adult diapers as the population that buys those bikes enters the octogenarian years. This is your classic I have more money than sense Harley dude. He went and got the full optioned out Harley, got the financing offered at the store because I will tell you, no matter what your credit score, Harley Davidson can probably sell you a bike, and walked away with a note that looks more like a luxury car payment than a new bike payment. What else can be said about this guy? I mean, cruiser snobs look down upon him because he didn't build and work on his steed, but honestly, he just doesn't care. He's out to Sturgis wearing his clean half lid and his Oakley shades with his wife on the back. The $40,000 Harley dude couldn't care less about what you think of him. And honestly, I kind of respect that. It's like an alternate dimension Ducatista if you think about it. V-twins, lots of money, a whole lot of lifestyle apparel goods, hey, wait a damn minute. 
Now, speaking of which, actually there's no good segue for it, but we gotta do it. It's time for our sponsored shout out, and that is Manscaped. These guys have easily been our best partner for this channel, and since it's an absolute sausage fest up in here with 97% males in this audience, it's no surprise they continue to support us. Manscaped, in case you're unfamiliar, makes the world's best shaver-proof personal grooming. It uses a no-nick ceramic blade that's guaranteed to not nick you. They have a whole host of other products to make sure you stay looking as sharp as you're supposed to be. For a limited time, use my code YAM20 to get yourself 20% off by clicking the link below, and they'll even throw in free shipping. If you want your power band curves to be looking extra smooth, you gotta make sure you're as aerodynamic as possible. So get trimmed up with Manscaped, use offer code YAM20 for 20% off, and click that link. Now, let's get back to these cruiser dudes. Our fourth rider is the all-important Metric Cruiser Bro. When you think of cruisers, if you're an American, your mind immediately flocks to Harley-Davidson's, maybe Indians even. Either way, you think of an all-American V-twin with loads of torque and the tears of an eagle in the gas tank. But true moto nerds know that the best cruisers actually come from Japan. True story, Japan has made some of the best cruisers that needed the least maintenance ever. Harley-Davidson has a notoriously high failure rate. Watch our least reliable motorcycle brands video to learn more about that. So if you want good cruiser fun, but you don't want those pesky failure rates, you get a metric cruiser. The name metric cruiser comes from the fact that American cruisers measure their displacement in cubic inches rather than in cubic centimeters. So. Now you know. Something like a Honda Shadow, a Yamaha Bolt, or even a Suzuki Boulevard are miles and miles ahead of Harley-Davidson's motorcycles. They typically have better technology, better reliability, and better prices. But if you're truly sold on the brand, it's difficult to get a Metric Cruiser and call yourself a Cruiser Bro. But the Metric Cruiser Bro is denoted by the fact that they just don't really care about all that. They bought a bike that has 98% of the looks, no drawbacks, and for 40% of the price of a Harley, and they will sleep well at night knowing they got all that extra dash in the bank. Good for you, metric bros. They almost always wear high vis and look a little nerdy though. Sorry, my dudes. Our next guy is the accessories bro. So this one is closely related to the $40,000 Harley bro, but accessories bro is a whole other breed. Think fringes, fringes everywhere, leather saddlebags, X mounts, exhausts, chrome anything, chrome helmet liners, chrome boots, chrome assless chaps. These silver leather daddies are not playing around. The bike may have cost a cool $10,000, but the accessories alone are already making it approach the $20,000 mark. Harley-Davidson is obviously the easiest target for this, but Indian is more than happy to sell you a load of accessories you really might not need on your bike. Speakers, trims, handlebars, neon lighting, they've got it all. The accessory bro was sold the dream that if he bought enough stuff, eventually his ride would be the custom bike of his dreams. Except then he becomes the same guy who three years later decides he doesn't want it and has the gall to go on Craigslist and say that it's a one of a kind. Cruiser bros love telling you their bikes are a one of a kind. Up next on our list is the British cruisers. No, no, not literally guys from England ride cruisers. I'm picky about my types, but I'm not that picky. I'm talking about guys who own cruiser motorcycles from the UK. Guys who have a Triumph America or a Triumph Rocket 3, something like that. They always fall in a bit of an oddball category since they're not usually accepted by the cruiser bros scene or the metric cruiser bros scene. Ask them why they chose to drop all that cash on something so esoteric. British cruiser bros are just misunderstood. They saw the paradigm of owning an American bike and noped out on that one, but then they also saw the milk toast nature of being a metric cruiser bro, and they opted for the British motorcycle. The other alternative are the Italian cruiser bros. Those Diavolo owners are really something else, huh? And finally on our list for today is the Midwest cruiser dude. Now, in order to save face and to align myself back with the cruiser bros of this great country, there is the corn-fed, wholesome Midwest cruiser dude. He's on a simple street glide he bought lightly used, it doesn't have any upgrades or flashy mods, he wears a full face showy because he prides himself on safety, but sometimes he doesn't wear his jacket and he doesn't need you to judge him. He puts on about 10,000 miles per year commuting to work, maybe doing some light weekend rides with his old buddies and hell, he doesn't even care when the local sport bike guy shows up either. The only Harley shirt he owns is the one he got as a gift for Christmas from a family friend that didn't really know what he liked and he's polite so he still wears it from time to time. This guy is as wholesome as can be. And as a reminder to everyone that sometimes a guy can just have a motorcycle and it doesn't consume his entire life. He just likes to ride it from time to time and enjoys a good beer too. Now, that's gonna wrap it up for our Cruiser Bros today. What do you guys think? Are you a Cruiser Bro? Have you met a Cruiser Bro? Let me know in the comments below. I do always love hearing from you. And now, hear me out. 
Imagine a place where you can come, learn about bikes, hang out with like-minded individuals, get access to exclusive content, and best of all, hang out with me one-on-one. -on -one. That sounds pretty sweet, huh? What if I told you all you need to do is hit the link below to learn more about that? That's because I'm talking about my Patreon. My dude, it started out as a beginner bike giveaway series, and we have got that going on in full swing. In fact, we've got a brand spanking new Yamaha R3 and a Suzuki SV650 going to two lucky winners, but the community aspect has really grown to be the best part about this all. We've got channels on our Discord server, which is a chat room you can access on desktop or mobile for memes, bike purchase decisions, general chats, and more. You also get to participate in our weekly $100 Revzilla gift card giveaway drawings as part of our It Came From Craigslist series. So if you want the best chance to win our giveaway R3 and SV650, join over 680 people who have signed up. Hit the link below and join. I promise you won't regret it. Just ask any of our giveaway bike winners or our current members in the comments below. Go to patreon.com slash to get started today. Thanks again for watching. I'll catch you guys in the next one. See you later.